Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the answers to 2033 poll script, which is a script for running uh, voting polls as part of your website or websites. Uh, the script is divided into two main parts. First of all, there's the part for users, which is the voting forms and showing the results. Um, and secondly, there's an administration part, which you use as the um, operator of the script to set up new polls and also to get the HTML code to put on your web pages, which contains the voting forms or shows the results. Um, so uh, I'm going to log into the administration area, which is of course password protected. So I enter my password, I click OK. Um, it will ask me, because I'm using a browser, if I want to remember the password, so we'll, we won't bother with it this time. I'm now at the main menu. Uh, this is the um, uh, main menu here. You can see the list of options. Uh, I also have a news area, so it tells me if there's any other news from the company and any new versions of the script. Um, uh, the first option here is create the database tables. You need to do that once as the administrator to um, initially create the uh, PHP uh, the MySQL tables that the polls use to keep uh, track of it. So I do that once. I've done that. I never need to do that again. Now I'm ready to actually start creating a poll. So my first poll here is going to be create new poll, and I choose an ID, a code word to identify the poll. This isn't visible uh, on the page, although it is in the HTML source code. So let's call this poll sport, uh, and we'll say, question is, what is your favourite sport? Question mark. Now, I can enter up to 10 possible responses that the users can vote on. Uh, I have to enter at least two. So if, um, if I try and just leave it blank like that, it will say you must enter a value for this field. So let's enter some sports. We will have football, hockey, Baseball, basketball, soccer, and tennis. And if I scroll down, you'll see the OK button is there. OK, and I've created my poll. And at the moment, you see there's the details of the poll. Um, there's the uh, number of votes. And I can get the voting for the, the code for displaying the voting form, uh, which can be a large form with radio buttons or a small form with um, uh, drop down menu and also the code for displaying the voting results in various ways. I can also lock and unlock the poll. That allows um, me to uh, stop any more votes being accepted in a completed poll. I can modify the voting counts in a poll. So for example, if I uh, need to adjust because of an error or just to get the voting started, I can do that. I can reset the voting count to zero and I can delete a poll that I finish with. And of course, I still have the main menu options at the bottom here. So let's um, get the um, form. So let's try the one with the radio buttons for voting options. There's my uh, example form. If I liked it like that, I can just copy this code into any of my web pages. I can also change the appearance of the form, so let's make it a bit narrow. So 300, let's make it 200. Let's make it have a really nice fat border, which uh, you may or may not like. Um, we'll make it 10. How much uh, cell padding, which is the space around the outside of it. And enter HTML color for the background. So that's we'll enter FF, FF00, um, which is, uh, happens to be the HTML color for yellow. You can use a HTML color chart. Choose my fonts as well. So I can choose a font size. Let's make the um, uh, the responses in a smaller font. We'll make the question bold. And we could change this to another font here. I could put in Courier or Times or something like that. We'll say that's all happy as it is. And I'll click OK. And there's my um, my change voting form. If I wasn't happy with it, I could change these options again, or I could copy the HTML code. Um, but what I'll actually do is I will. Although you wouldn't normally do this, in the administration area, it's actually a live form, so I can actually vote to just try it out. So let's say I vote that soccer is my favorite sport. I click vote, uh, and I've got one vote for soccer. Now, this is a results page. Um, now, the um, script actually allows you to customize the appearance of the result page, put whatever you want at the top or the bottom. Um, I haven't done that, which is why it says you can customize it if you want to. Um, and the um, results page at the moment is all shown on the default settings, which is um, both a bar chart and a pie chart with the default colors and percentages. If I, um, if I go uh, back here, um, and if I go back to manage the sports poll, I can in fact modify the results page for the sports poll. So for example, 
I can say here um, display poll result, poll result and customize it. So that's if I want to link directly to the results page from anywhere. I can use this, this HTML code or this URL. This is what the um, results part of the results page looks like. Again, I can change that. So, for example, if I want a results page to only show a pie chart, I can change the size of the chart. I can also um, display where the, choose where the key, which is over here, is uh, shown. So I can say, for example, it's shown on the um, bottom. I can choose the um, background color, the text color. I can choose what order the results are displayed in. At the moment, they're in the same order as a question, but I could make it so the most popular one is first in the list, second most popular one, third one, or in reverse popularity order. Um, I can also um, change here um, whether to show me votes, whether to show the percentages, and I can also choose different color schemes. So, for example, I can use pastel colors for the options. If I do OK, it will preview that now. So here's what you can see the more pastel colors for the options. Uh, and I can customize the results page. Um, as well as actually customizing the results page, it's also possible to embed the charts directly into any page on your website. Um, so if I go here, for example, if I want to put in a bar chart on one of my web pages, I can display the poll result as a bar chart here. I can customize the bar chart. So for again, for example, I put this is an example, let's put the key on the top and um, we'll put the um, colors into uh, maybe we use dark colors this time and I'll click OK there's my um, customized bar chart and if I want to display that bar chart on one of my pages obviously it will update to reflect the votes as they come in I just copy this code and paste it into the body section of one of my web pages and that's all I have to do now obviously in this case um, there's only one vote in the poll I could try voting again and again but one of the nice features of this script is um, it includes software to stop cheating using uh, both cookies and IP addresses. So if somebody tries to vote more than once, only their first vote is counted. However, as the administrator of the poll, I can uh, cheat and adjust the results. So let's put in some different numbers, modify the votes. So let's say 20 people have voted for football, 15 have voted for hockey, 10 have voted for baseball, 10 have voted for basketball, uh, 25 voted for soccer and 16 voted for tennis. And if I click OK, it will adjust the vote counts. There you can see they've been adjusted. If I um, go to the um, results page, which I've customized previously, you'll see there there's the um, numbers with the different values. And again, I can customize that, make a custom results page on bottom, response order, and so on. results page and it will retain that and uh, that's basically it now the one other option here is view manage existing polls if I go on that that shows me the current the number of polls if I can have more than one poll in here I can have as many different polls as I like so let's create another poll um, create a new poll let's have this uh, gangsters to make different voting forms, make um, different ways of displaying the results, uh, setting the vote count, and also I can go back, if I go to view manage polls, you'll see there the, uh, the second poll is on the list. If I have a lot of polls, I can sort them by clicking on any of these column headers, and, uh, and of course manage the polls, put the polls in my website. And that provides lots of uh, interesting contact, to content and topics for discussion on a website, uh, as well as a useful way of collecting information from visitors. So that's it. If you go to scriptrocket.com, you can find out more about the script, find out all the details, and if you like it, download the script as well. 
Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go to scriptrocket.com, download and try out the script.